The round table. Gentlemen. Aye. Let's broaden our minds. Lay on, gentlemen. Civility, gentlemen. Always civility. <laughs> Dear Lord, thank you for the New York City subway system. Oh. For all of the joys and the wonderful things that we see on there. From the dicks to the boobs to the man with no face to the man with too many faces. My eyes. My eyes. My eyes. My eyes. eyes. They took my eyes. Thank you for uh, the man and his wife who play the accordion and parade their tiny little baby around and laugh and laugh. That baby's stolen. It's a different baby each time. (laughs) I saw one had red hair, one had black hair. Thank you for the man with no teeth that always wears the baseball cap and is extremely frizzy haired. That's just Kevin Barnett. (laughs) What is that, that, man? What is that? (laughs) And finally, thank you for all the wonderful, wonderful ladies that occupy the train, specifically the L train, every single day. Amen. 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 The boobies are back out, everybody. Oh, yeah. I know. I know. Speaking of boobies, welcome to the round table of gentlemen. Who is the most beautiful woman that the round table has ever seen? Jackie Zabrowski, I got junk in the trunk. (laughs) Ed Larson. Holder McNeely, swag swag. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Uh, Kevin Barnett looked better than all of y'all. That's true. (laughs) I'm Ben Kissel. With us in the chuckle, we got Mike Racist Racine. He hates blacks. (laughs) What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, good intro. <laughs> All right. And Sarah Benincasa, thanks for being here, Sarah. I'll tell you, you were beautiful. If your tits were your eyes, I would look at your tits less. I don't know what that means, but I enjoy the thought. With us, as always, newsman Marcus Parks. Marcus, bring us the local news for uh, the day. The local news, which ties in to the prayer. A heartbroken queen's mother is trying to compromise comprehend how her son's night out with friends ended in his death after a random encounter with a rowdy strap hanger resulted in her son being struck and killed by the L train. I think strap hanger needs to go. I love strap like hanger. Yeah, no but we anymore. hang on bars. It, there's there's no, no strap. You ride the bus. If you ride the bus. It makes you think of, what is it called, a banana boat? When a man wears a tiny <laughs> underpants. Yes. You know? Sasha Baron Cohen style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Indeed. So this fella, he was on the L train. He was mm-hmm. feuding with another man, and they ended up getting on a tumble and a tussle on the tracks. Yeah, they got into a fight, and then the fight ended up on the tracks, apparently. this I haven't read How the did story. How they get down there? Yeah, yeah, they flipped. Amazing. They had a whole yeah, bunch they, of... they were wrestling, and then I guess they fell down there, and they Ow. kept fighting. And then, uh, and then the train started coming, and the one guy hopped up and got away, and the other guy tried to hop up, but he got halfway up. And then the train came and severed his body. And, That'll uh, happen. Yeah, and then he was just stuck between the train and the platform with just the, his upper body and, uh, screaming. Straight up. I, I was on a train like right before I passed. I passed through Bedford. They, they were like, "We're gonna skip Bedford, you know, so we don't have to see the horror." Um, but I was looking out and I was seeing a dude detained in question. I saw cops all around the place. You know, I didn't see crushed dude. Thank God. But yeah, it was fucking intense, man. Yeah, but I love the idea. Looking for. Cr- Crush, dude. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Part. Every time I'm on the Bedford stop or pretty much anywhere off the L, it's just like everyone here should jump on the tracks. You know that huge bullet that's coming? Get killed by it. I hate you all. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I care about the story now more that I know that the kid was from Queens. Yeah. I've got yeah. this deep loyalty now all of a sudden yeah. now that I live in Long Island City. And that's where we record. People who get severed in Queens. Yeah. Or who are from Queens and get severed. Wow, is he cute? What does he look like? Uh, the, mm. Check Ooh. it out. He wasn't that Latin cute. He was, a, he was a Latin stallion. And he oh. posted a whole bunch of pictures on his Facebook, uh-uh. Kevin, that you saw. Yeah, yeah no, I saw Dude, a thing. Did you, did you find that one too? Or, or uh, no? no, no, no. I thought you had it pulled up. Oh, on yeah, your yeah. Phone. Pull it up in your phone. Yeah, Apparently, yeah, 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 a, a couple of days before he was on the L train, he was posing very, very cool next to a train coming on, and he left a comment like, "It's almost like I got hit by the train." And it's like maybe if you wouldn't have left that comment, you wouldn't have gotten Literally, hit by a train. It's, it's like, he was probably reading the sixteenth of March that it was. Let me. Uh, oh, yeah, maybe he just really wished it. Is this a success story? That's the question. Is this what the 
the boy Dad. wanted. <laughs> when you say this is a before. secret success story. Uh, yeah, an Oprah fan. Uh, and we uh, should he probably had some Matrix fantasies going on there. Wanted to get into a badass fight in the train. Tried to jump. He tried to do a backflip. But uh, I mean, it sounds cool as shit. Like it sounds like an '80s martial arts movie. It is amazing. <laughs> it's so apparently though, he was trying to get up, and the train was going so strong that it actually didn't stop till it was four cars in yeah. on yeah. him. Oh. And, and now the well, I'd imagine. Fun. I'd imagine the conductor was so freaked out that he forgot to put the brake on. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it does sound like a, a martial arts movie, and it's bizarre they can't find the fellow that he was fighting. As oh, far yeah, as I'm concerned, Chow yeah, Young Fat. This is the, uh, you know, Chow Young like Fat's Highlander, where they go back into, like, different um, generations he of He went time. straight to the Port Authority, and he got on a bus, he got on the next bus out of town. You, oh, yeah, I, I, if he's smart. Yeah, he's if you guys are talking about, like, it being an 80s action movie, this is what makes it. So, uh, Basin and the apparently drunk passenger started arguing. <laughs> a battle resulted in an all-out fight when the two left the train at the same time. At Were the they Baffert- arguing over like who will get hit by the train first? <laughs> <laughs> So this guy actually won. Yeah, they left the train at the same time uh, bet at the Bedford Avenue station in Brooklyn. The aggressive strap hammer strap hanger said before Banana pummeling boat. Basin, <laughs> "It's <laughs> showtime!" Oh, what? it's awesome! Wow. And it was showtime. If you had the honor to be there, it's like fuck street well, musicians. You guys had a witness, right? You have an eyewitness. Yeah, remember the to. guy we saw like showed up white, white as a ghost. Yes, Eddie and I are doing a rock show at the Trash Bar, and this fella shows up. I think he was like twenty minutes late or so, and he's like. You'll never believe what happened. And what was his story, Ed? His story was pretty. His story is he just saw a guy pinned between the track and the platform, yeah, screaming, flailing his arms. So everywhere. the guy was still alive when the Whoa. train. Yeah, came yeah. In. yeah. insane. There's no space between the train and the platform. Very yeah, little. Yeah. An inch and a half. But inches. holding, keep keep in mind, he was a hipster, very thin. Mm-hmm. No, he wasn't. No, he's he's not. Not. No, no, no. Oh, he was Queens. Lens. He you was can't like, be a Latin yeah. hipster. No, no. You no. Got reverse also, racism going on here. That's no. my extreme question: Is what was he doing getting off of the Bedford stop? Everybody to get in the fight. Better fight. They got, fight. He they got off the out. train to fight yeah. like a real oh. Latin would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was headed for He died other from names. his authenticity. Yeah. <laughs> That's sad. He looks like a cast member, the kind of kid who would try out to be on Jersey Shore. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. So so I like. I think he's sexy in how perturbed he is. Yeah. <laughs> totally. I bet he was pretty sexy when yeah. he was yeah. strapped. Yeah. As far he's, as got a, he's got a very brown. pouty look about him. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah, pouty. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. sad. He's got a very sculpted facial, uh, you know, piece of hair there, which I think is always clean. The dude's clean. Yeah. He is clean. Yeah. He's definitely. He definitely he looks, looks like that on purpose, which I think yeah. is even. He's got the. He's got the. You know. Pubic hair, uh, chin. Oh, okay, but the guy, the guy he fought like, had a mullet, right? Yeah, the yeah. guy he fought yeah, has yeah. a mullet. So, so off the Bedford stop, I mean, it's going to be hard to find a guy with a mullet. There's right. like a million ironic it's like mullets. Yeah, it's like a white dude right. from Sweden who killed him. <laughs> well, which one? <laughs> so, right, so uh, Kevin, you got the uh, you got the thing pulled up. Oh well, yeah, this is like, this is the exact thing. Is like his friend put up the picture, of Rich York, and it's him. The guy who got killed. He's standing next to a train, pointing at the camera, like all cool and shit. And so the dude who got killed is Joshua Basin. So he writes, looks like I almost got. Hit by the train, laugh out loud, and his Whoa. friend comments, "Bro, if you got caught somehow, you would have got dragged right under it, and me and you would have both got fucked up." Laugh out loud. Then he writes, "Yup." These are not funny what? statements. No, no. Am I the only one who said this? Is, no, this is and then the craziest part. He's like, "Yup, we would have been on the ten o'clock news with a headline like two drunks caught by train." Laugh out loud, laughing my ass off. Oh my god! Are they, they actually say laugh out loud, yeah, laughing my ass off? It's all in there, and it's, this ben. is less than a week before it happened. Oh, wow. oh my god! I never get that on Facebook. Book, people put lol in the weirdest right. places. Oh, yeah. He's like, no, three it's fat guys would be talking about it's on a podcast somewhere. <laughs> lol. We're the fattest podcast around that nobody listens to to talk about us. Lol. <laughs> Hello, Israel. Oh. Oh, and who, Cambodia. Lol. This yeah. story goes out to Cambodia and Guam. I believe yeah. we have a couple of yeah, listeners yeah, out got there. Some listeners all over the country. We're going to start uh, recognizing you in every show. And uh, thank you, Guam. Thank this you, show Israel. is dedicated to Guam. No, uh, right. Guam is a, a part, it's a U.S. territory. It's a U.S. territory. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's not a Well, thank you for the melons. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. the melons. Yeah. Is that a breast thing? I think that, yeah, they send us their breasts. They send us their It's terrible to be a woman in Guam. But good for us. Somebody's Wikipedia Guam right now. Yeah, I yeah. can do that. Israel, I'd like to say uh, shalom. So what do you think? Some Palestine's out. Kevin and I were to work. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Kevin and I were talking. If they do catch this fellow that he was fighting on the subway tracks, mm-hmm. is, does he get charged with first degree murder? Not first no, degree no, murder. Second degree murder. I just 
Which one? The degree, is it murder, though? though? Well, I don't understand. I think it's, it's at the very least third degree mur- or second degree murder. Uh, or at the Man least slaughter. manslaughter at the most second degree murder. I'm thinking since there's so much uh, press nice. going on with this, they're definitely going to charge this guy with murder. They can give him yeah, assault yeah. with intent to kill. I just yeah. think it's but why did they? Yeah, we, why did they take the fight onto the tracks? Like I think this, it probably just rolled onto the tracks. Really? Yeah. But at yeah. the yeah. same time, why is, it, why is it manslaughter? Like, why is it that if he couldn't he get out of the tracks, like, he probably didn't look back. He probably jumped up and just fucking ran. Yeah. He probably had See, no idea what I was saying that too, but the thing is that the dude, like, pushed him out of the train. He was in a train. He pushed him out of a train. He had no choice but to fight this dude. Yeah. That's why. Well, that's not true. You can stay on the story. train. The door shut, and you have an easy but way out. We're talking about Latin, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I mean, well, they talk about the, Latin culture. The guy, the, uh, guy who survived, he was the guy who uh, started the fight. That's oh. what I was saying. Well, like before I was saying they probably couldn't charge him with murder, but now that I see that he was like, you know, another yeah. like guy a, could be like thirty something too. This is a poor little twenty year old kid. He hasn't even developed his man muscles yet. Maybe he just Balls didn't understand. Bang! <laughs> can, somebody, can somebody break it down for me though? Like, what's the difference between first degree murder, second degree murder, third degree murder? In, in, in is it a first degree order is premeditated? First degree murder is what blacks and Latinos are charged of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Third degree murder is what women are charged of, and second degree murder is what whites Third and Asians murder, are charged yeah, of. Yeah, what whites get. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Asians are always charged of uh, murder by math. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't figure yeah. him out. Just murdering animals, whatever that is. Yeah. <laughs> well, good for this kid. I, do you think the guy's going to be caught? It, what's interesting is that this wasn't like on camera. Mm. I always thought those subway stations were totally lit up with cameras. It's not all. It has to be. I, it ha- there has to be. There's only like six bad. cameras in the whole fucking station. <laughs> Yeah. You're not going to catch everything. Yeah. I suppose not. And here's a, another detail about this man. God, his mom's fat. Yeah. Is she fat? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a fat mother. so uh, He deserved to say, die. Yeah. It should have been his mother. The train would have been More developments in the shocking story. A Puerto Rican lady is fat. <laughs> <laughs> She's not that fat. She's Spanish. Come on. She's got curves. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's call got a 20-pound head. Yeah, he call looks, it what you will. He does look like the kind of dude who, like, he would be at... The Puerto Rican Day Parade, and he wouldn't have the snake, but like his fat cousin would, and right. he'd just be standing next to him, kind of like smiling, like yeah, real proud. Yeah, would. Like, yeah, yeah. 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 he wouldn't like rape snake. all the it's girls, but he would just like hang out with his friends after they did and yeah. sli- silently. Yeah, he's the them. guy yeah, holding yeah. the camera phone. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> How else will they know how cool you are, Tony? Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's here's entirely a, true. Uh, here's a fun fact about him. He was born premature, and his twin brother didn't make it. Oh, Isn't that something? That's so he's sucks. been murdering people in desperate situations his entire life, and this was the battle that he finally lost. <laughs> you can imagine the in utero battle that he had to have with his twin brother to get out of that pussy alive. Yeah. And why, he was, uh, would they, why would they say that in this movie? <laughs> because it's the New York Post. Oh, it's yeah. the Post. I yeah. love the Post. Yeah, I love the Post. Yeah, for the Post. Uh, and he was a, a psychology major at LaGuardia Community College. Oh, he was going to. He was a psych oh, major. Man, he yeah. Went to school. He should have outthunked this guy. I don't understand what happened. <laughs> this is very, very That's sad. Thing. Again, like the Matrix, you got to bend the spoon. You can't just be fucking around right there. You this was actually him. a test by his psych. Is this? <laughs> you psych completely professor. failed. <laughs> Ate the wrong pill. What is this? The worst way to die on a subway platform? Yes. No. I don't know. You can get raped. Getting raped and then that happening. That would be the worst. Getting, getting raped, raped and then set on, on fire the and then you're hit yeah. by a train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Set on fire. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we're talking end game here. I'm gonna say okay, the ultimate like what actually delivers the final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna what, say what the, the, the flood in the tracks. You fall in. There's electric snakes in the water. <laughs> well, how do they get there? My electric snakes come through the tunnel. Oh, okay. Yeah, they the come through the tunnel. Put them there. They come the from you know, and then the train comes and hits the snakes into you harder. And <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. You get fucked to death by a mariachi band. <laughs> To the music. They don't stop there playing guitars is, the is, entire is, time. Oh, oh, it's awful. I don't take first me out my ass out of my ears. <laughs> Just give me a, some peace and quiet while I die. Oh, 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 I'm jumping in front of the train. Because that death has everything. It has rape and mariachi pants. <laughs> <laughs> Two worst that things is, that can happen on the subway. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> when those fuckers, when you're on there and you're going to some fucking shit job that you have and it's like seven in, in the, the morning, morning. And those motherfuckers come on there and they smile. They're delightful Mexican They're so friends. happy. I know. I hate They're it when so Mexicans so try to make a living. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to be like, I wasn't up all night like you. This is my morning. I actually really like the mariachi band. They're good. A lot of them are really good. I, do. I, I like them in I certain like situations. Them at like around 3 p.m. Like when I used to be a teacher, which is a true thing I did, uh, and I was coming home from high school, I would love when the mariachi bands were on because they were fun. The kids were like into it, would dance. It was funny. Yeah. Right. Uh, any other time of day, any other situation, I get angry. I remember one time I saw a mariachi guy. It was solo, just with a guitar, and he started playing to me and the girl I was with, but he had four teardrop tattoos. And yes! I was just like, no! Yeah! Yeah, just tell your girlfriend to love. Well, there's this, yeah. give him there's a this black guy on the L train, who, and he's got a guitar, and he'll come up to you, and he like plays the song just for you. Uh, you oh, and he yeah, 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 yeah. I booked and him. Yeah, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> fucking booked him. Yeah, he played here at the Creek in the Cave. He's got a twelve really? string guitar. He played guitar. for me in like 2008, right? And then I've seen him on the train a bunch of times, and I avoided him for for like four he's years so nice until like, no, he's not. Something? It's so awkward, and you have to give him money. Right, and that's then, the like, thing. The other day, me and two of my friends, me and my girlfriend and my friend, got on the L train and the door shut and he was right in front of us and I had avoided this guy for like four years and then he he, <laughs> he got you man he fucked me half to death with his <laughs> did, you, did you give him money what did you give him money of course he you always plays to. the same song though come together yeah it's always yeah, come it's together always come together yeah. Did he play Come Together here at the Creek? Yes, he did. He did. Uh, He's a nice fella. It sounded great. Sounds like I mean, he's much. I will say though, seventeen times for the seventeen people that were here. (laughs) But but guys like that are at least better than the folks who just go on and ask for change, and then as soon as like you give them change, the door is open, and then they always say something mean to somebody. Yeah, like at least he plays an instrument. That's kind of nice. He won't leave you alone. You can give him money, and he'll still. You know, I had a situation with him. I was very sad. I was very lonely, and he just played right next to me, and it was kind of nice. I, I told him I wasn't going to give him any money, and he was just like, I don't care. And he just played it. I mean, it was annoying. The but problem is, the, uh, what sucks is when the My Eyes guys, uh, the guy comes up to you and he plays his eye holes and for <laughs> you. <It> just, <laughs> for those, <laughs> let's have, for those I listening, the My, be funny yeah. like, the My Eyes guy is a fellow who's been around the Brooklyn trains for quite a oh, while. He has no eyes. His face oh, no. has been completely burnt by acid. He walks yes. around with a billboard as if he's selling some sort of sandwiches, but it doesn't say four ninety nine for tuna. It just tells the story about when his <laughs> wife... the newspaper clippings. Burnt him with acid oh from the New York God. Post, and so he goes on the trains, although... We haven't I seen him in a while. Though. I haven't, he yeah, could be I, dead. Yeah. I thought it'd be funny if you went up to him on Halloween and you were like, ooh, spooky. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, this is not my mess. But on Halloween, he probably has like a normal person's face. Exactly. Like the Batman. He's like, I've removed my mask. What do you say? Like, when was the last time you saw him? You think he's two years ago? Oh, yeah, see, I was What I don't understand is like she didn't cut out his tongue. You can say something else besides my eyes. Acid burnt his face. I mean, and I know, but say something else. Be like, please give me money. I don't think he has a tongue. Is my eyes. And it's because that's this the most disgusting eyes. part of him, and he wants people to look at it and give and, him money and make for money. it. Mm-hmm. I mean, granted, I, we're not jealous of him. You know? I just always stare He's at like, the floor and I laugh. Jesus How do you laugh? Christ, Jack. How do you laugh? It's upsetting, and I don't want to <laughs> deal with my emotions, so I'd rather laugh. He is like the original Kim Kardashian. He yeah. just wants money for nothing, though. When Jackie's upset, she just laughs and grabs her breasts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Every date she has is very confused. Like, did she yeah, like me? There's no decency, man. I mean, and they, and the ones in Florida, they would have some decency. I remember there's this one in Palm Beach. His name was Flippin' Nigga George. And, uh, <laughs> was, literally, was he white? No. <laughs> it was a black dude named Flippin' Nigga George. And he would tell white people to call him that. They're like, really? You want us to call him? He's like, hey, man, I ain't trying to cause no problems. It's Flippin' Nigga George. And he would uh, give I will him give a you dollar. $100, yeah. dude. He, he was a it. crackhead. You give him a dollar, he'd do backflips all the way down the street. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Oh. That's well worth a dollar. No, yeah, yeah, but then he moved to New York and started doing jokes about Teen Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That, that is sounds... a burn on Kevin, by the way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got burned. You just got rescinded. <laughs> That's why I called him racist. All right. Speaking of cartoon characters, which oh. actually seems to be, Marcus, tell that one story. We got something here. that This is a headline. Cartoon may have inspired kids to set fire. Yeah, of course it did. The children who set fire to the floor around the bed of their mother and her boyfriend early Friday may have been inspired by a children's cartoon they had been watching. The 12-year-old boy and his 10-year-old sister, who admitted setting the fire at their southwest Omaha home, mentioned Tom and Jerry, or some other cartoon, in which a fire takes place. That's great. Every cartoon. Yeah. The parents obviously deserved it. 
Yeah, no, it's a fire. Oh, Kids yeah. set fires. You know, it's just that's just what yeah. happens. Remember that Beavis and Butthead shit when they were like, oh, it's because because nobody understood the fire, fire. fire. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. come on. No, I love that. No, it's cartoons. Cartoons are gonna have violence in them, but they don't have violence in them. It's not worth watching. Yeah, they're exactly. Not. Especially Tom and Jerry. Oh, At least they were watching Tom and Jerry. They weren't watching that new shit that's all about like eating vegetables and being nice to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you know that what? shit. Who gives a fuck about that? Veggie I don't want to hear the songs yeah. that come from it. It's not entertaining. I don't hear about the Bible. I wanted to watch right. a fucking cat and a mouse beat the shit out of Go each other. Go fucking at it, man. And where, where, where are the rolling. parents? Like, no one blamed cartoons what, when I dressed what like a woman uh, and well, blew it was, up my people with dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> It was 4.30 a.m. on a Friday, and the parents, or the mother and her boyfriend were in bed with the kids dead. Uh, they used some sort of accelerant to s- encircle the bed, Jesus. then started the fire. Oh my it left How old were the kids? Uh, 10 and 12. Oh, oh so they're yeah. psychopaths. Yeah. It's it's they shouldn't yeah. blame the cartoon, just blame science and the fact that these <laughs> right. kids know it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it left their mother's boyfriend, Jermaine Westbrook, in critical condition with severe burns. And Should. did she live? Well, she uh, what? Ha- she woke up immediately, but she couldn't wake up her boyfriend. She Why was, was he sleeping, sleeping so heavy? Yeah, he's fucking so hammered. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's fucking sleeper. hammered. Yeah, so she just bailed. They came home oh, drunk. They woke up the kids. They were being terrible fucking parents. You get burned to death when you're a bad parent. I don't know if they're being bad parents. It's 4.30 in the morning. These could just be devil children that need to be killed as I mean, well. <laughs> Why were they awake? <laughs> I mean, when I was that age, like, I knew this isn't like a five-year-old playing with matches. Like, you really know they what you're doing purpose. is murderous and psychotic. Like, that's yeah. deep, deep Absolutely. shit. I'm sure they hated that fucking boyfriend, though. Oh, they had to. Sure. I mean, yeah. probably a douche. Yeah, it must have been. Well, also, because also at that age, you know the difference between right and wrong, and we're knowing that right. a cartoon is not real and that you cannot do that in real life. Whoa, Ten whoa, and twelve whoa, whoa, is too whoa. old. Cartoons are not real. Fuck you. Shut up. Fucking uh, uh, Jackie, fucker, Jackie, uh, Jackie, 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 take stop. it easy. Let, hold yeah, it. Go yeah. fuck your mother. Let me hold Jackie. Uh, uh, Bugs Bunny. <laughs> cartoons are real, Holden. <laughs> cartoons are real. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Does uh, Eddie? I, you're the only person I know. That, like, so your mother had boyfriends, right? I mean, not when I was a kid. My parents got divorced after I was in college. On my 20th birthday, they got divorced. Oh, what a nice <laughs> gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, Does anybody come from a family where the, where the other the parent home? had... Yeah. Where, the, where boyfriends were involved. Really? I imagine there must be a lot of resentment. Everyone here came from... A yeah. family that didn't get divorced? Is this why we're, we say well, terrible things? things you about, I mean, Kevin, your dad just wasn't around, right? What? No, he's... <laughs> Kevin's dad's amazing. <laughs> Kevin's mother is the head of the nursing fucking institute. <laughs> that man was at every school meeting. Every uh, yeah, Kevin's dad is like the greatest dad on the face of the planet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Go back to Texas. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking... Racine's the racist one on the episode, Marcus. <laughs> Dude, seriously, Kevin, I've known you for like two years. I have never once heard you mention your father. That's because he loves his father and he only talks about things I hate. He hates. <laughs> <laughs> I always talk about my pain, man. <laughs> that is bizarre. Yeah, Everyone, there's nothing we funny to about together. a father we, who loves you. You need to tell me about the things you love, Kevin. No, nah, the fuck would I do that yeah, for? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who wants to hear that? No one wants to talk about love. Fuck what the that's... things Kevin loves. But I sat, if I literally sat you down one day like, man, Marcus, man, cats make me happy. I love cats. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, Kevin, please tell me more about these cats. I'm, uh, no, you God, it sounds like the worst conversation. Yeah, exactly. You'd it's be licking bad. a knife I the mean, whole time. I do it because I'm, I'm his friend, but... No more talking about cats or nice fathers. That is crazy, though. There's eight, <laughs> what are there, eight of us. We're all in our 20s and 30s, right? Yeah. yeah. And not one of us comes from uh, a home that Can was we broken s- when we were little. Who is... Yeah. Well, who has gotten uh, uh, close to parents have gotten close to divorce? I mean, my parents scares, had. right? I mean, I definitely yeah. had. We definitely yeah, had scares. My, my mom yeah. left my dad when we moved to Florida from New York. Left him for a year. We didn't know because he was a drunk, and uh, which he didn't know never, either. And oh no, he, and he figured it out and <laughs> stopped drinking. But then now are more in love than I've ever seen two people. Your ever mother's so be. hot though. She has huge fucking tattoos. Yeah, they're, they're probably tits. swingers, man. They fuck. Everybody. They are not swingers. They. Love each other, <laughs> dude. I'm telling you, Jackie's mom. Well, in mom, my case, Kev. when you have a, when you have a, when <laughs> you, you met have my a, mother, Kevin. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, my w- When you have a retard kid, it apparently like, makes your marriage stronger or something. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, so. oh, 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 I ain't no retard. <laughs> All right. Speaking of retards, Marcus, what's the next story? Oh, uh, we got a retard here. Uh, headline. State rules bar Down syndrome student from playing his favorite sport, oh, basketball. Is, is he good enough to make the team? Uh, he is. is the basketball. 
What state is it? Uh, this is uh, Michigan. Fuck. It, it, the kid, the <laughs> Down East play. The Down syndrome kid's name is Eric Dampierre. He Ooh. loves oh, sports. Oh, oh they, 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 they put down in his name? Uh-huh. Yeah, Dampierre. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dampierre. He's a little fucking. Wait, how many Canadian free throws do you get if if somebody on the other team dry humps a cheerleader? <laughs> <Is that> a- <laughs> <laughs> it's a, they, it's they a personal do that. foul. No, I've worked with them. They do that kind of thing. Oh, they totally do. I love yeah. them very much. I used to always encourage such activities. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, no. Eric never let the fact that he was born with Down syndrome stop him from playing. Yeah, but now he may have to cheer on his team from the bleachers. It's a battle between Eric's family and the Michigan High School Athletic Association. The association says because he's 19 years old, he's he isn't old. allowed to play in his senior year of high school. Oh, so it's he's yeah. too yeah. old. Yeah. Perfect. Well, well, he's too old. Yeah, it's I not because he has Down I think they're just using that as an excuse, though. It's like, this he, he can't play. He's 19. Right, guys? You can't. <laughs> I mean, if he's not, I mean, theoretically, he, he should advantage. be playing in elementary school basketball. <laughs> if it goes by intelligence, you have to, like, gauge these things by something. I don't know. How many basketball players have you ever known? Because some of them are I was a basketball player. Shit. Exactly. exactly. Oh. <laughs> oh, the, the, the old girls are talking. <laughs> <laughs> but this is almost like a movie, though. You know how in the movie where the retarded kid wants to play sports, there's always some guy who's like too much of a villain, you know, mm-hmm. who's just like, football's not for retards. And it's like, <laughs> can he just carry two bags? What is your problem? Well, well we will like say, be- from, uh, this is from UppermichiganSource.com, <laughs> he did get play of the week with a shot against Nagani. Because it went in and he's retarded. Exactly. exactly. He, shot he, did, like, he, he got one shot in, so he got play of the week. Holden, were you allowed to play when you basketball when you were 19 in high school? I was uh, uh, I was free throw champion in my basketball summer camp. That's not true. <laughs> I, cheated, really? I cheated a little bit, though. I went a little above the line. Um, a little <laughs> front of the line. But, but they, Is that true? And all the kids got really mad. Yeah, yeah. I just sunk them one day. I was just hot. I, just <laughs> I fucking like autistic kid. I sung him, dude. There were fucking bitches on the sidelines. They were fucking making out with my fucking dick. When I was like, yeah, yeah, dude, Excuse me, sir. Can I kiss your yeah. dick? Yeah, exactly. It's just like, I'm fucking, you know, yeah, exactly. I went 10 for 10, and they were just like, I'll make you come fucking one for one, you fat, ugly fuck. Piece of whoa, shit. man. I was like, whoa, what are you adding all that stuff at the end for? They're just like, I fucking hate you. I hate you, but she was like furiously beating me off the whole time. I fucking, I jammed jizz, but it was. Was fucking blue and brown, brother. It was not fucking normal. <laughs> Jamming, yeah. School yeah. colors, man. You yeah. <laughs> I came to school colors, dude. I came to school colors, but I'll tell you In what. In the shape yeah. of a shark. Absolutely. That was the fucking best summer of my life, man. <laughs> Now that Holden boy's is dead. like the most innocent, nicest looking person in here, and he just said some fierce, fierce. I don't shit. Yeah, know if no. that's true. Right, like you you don't said. know Holden. I've been know, listening I to don't. like bad rap music all day, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches suck my fucking dick, swag. Oh, Kevin, you swag, face God, God, bitch. Uh, uh, it's so bad. <laughs> I feel. What like is it. swag, Holden? I have no idea, but they love it. They Kevin, what's so swag? Much. Just you know, fucking like swagger, just swagger, like yeah, oh, swag, yeah, swag, swag. I thought swag was like your know, merchandise. It can swag. be. Like you can be swag, swag, and be a bunch of shit. Swag. Yeah, oh, oh, I got all this swag over here because you were like, famous, yeah. like at the Oscars yeah, yeah, yeah. or something. Swag, swag. Dude, have you guys ever uh, watched Ghost Ride the Whip? It's just no, amazing. Man, I know, yeah, I know, Kevin. You've seen it, right? <laughs> Mac Dre. Well, ghost, ghost riding is a thing. That's a thing. That what is that? Riding? Just it's coming on people songs. when they don't know it? No, no. no. Ghost oh, riding. Yeah. Is it oh, they right. will know it. They will know it. Your head on fire and riding around on a motorcycle? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. The fuck is wrong with y'all, man? <laughs> I mean, I'm just ghost. interpreting it. I'm with ghost. you, man. I'm with you. There, there was that, there was that whole... Uh, there was Jackie, that whole, don't say it like that. Yeah, With dog. the government. There was that whole <laughs> Bay Area movement what? that, you know, I don't even know if it's really happening anymore, but they would reference Patrick Swayze all the time, which was great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they, um, yes. But it was just all about, like, you would, you would be in your car driving, and you just get out, and you just dance next to your car where you're blasting music, and no one's driving the car, but you're just dancing next to it. You just think driving you gotta hop back in? Car. Yeah, yeah. It's you ghost riding. The car is driving by itself, and you're just, like, out there, like, you know, <laughs> I like being it's That's awesome. awesome. I love that. That's fucking yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> what a great move. In yeah. San Francisco, too. Lots of hills. So what, yeah, you just, dude. exactly, you just have the parking break down and you just fucking jam next to the car. Nah, man, no, no, you gotta go with the car and then hop back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah the right? the car's moving, you dance next to it. Yeah. God, that's so fun. <laughs> okay. they do, there's one of them where they do, who is it? Can can I fucking love black people. Can I do it with, like, a <laughs> Can I just, like, <laughs> hear someone like you and just, like, really break it down outside of my body? <laughs> just crying. Dance and yeah, sob. Yeah. <laughs> into your, into your camera. I think, like, the best video was just, it was, like, they did it, uh... suck. 
man. Hey, 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 Marcus hey, 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 Whatever. Just not what? fun, man. Oh, oh, no, not that I just thought it might be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had something to say? Stan Getz is a white man. What? <laughs> oh, right. Stan Getz. He's a, he's you a stand- jazz musician. Yeah. He does uh, lots Take of great five. bossa nova tunes. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Gilbert, oh, Gilbert. Oh, the girl's a white guy. He was the kill- right. king of bossa nova, man. Yeah, yeah that shit. Absolutely. Yeah. So, what? fucking take that. Yeah. You black people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you just won. You nice. just won. <laughs> you that your one was for on. Trayvon. Good job, guys. It's actually a sensitive time in the country right now. Let's, for the first time on the show, attack black people. <laughs> Good job. Good choice. Marcus? I've got, well, I've got a story about somebody attacking somebody else verbally. Ooh. A 15-year-old Illinois boy was charged with disorderly conduct after he yelled a derogatory anti-scouting comment through the window of an elementary school gymnasium. What's the comment? I see where Cub Scouts were gathering. Uh, the male juvenile yelled loudly and clearly into one of the windows, Fuck the Cub Scout! Oh, man. Fuck the Cub Scout! This is a young... Yes. The youngest person on our hands. <laughs> the fucking Cub Scouts are the Hitler Youth of America. <laughs> Fuck the Cub Scouts. I hate the fucking Cub Scouts. He's just expressing an observation I mean, of what leaders do on those camping trips and those tight little assholes. That's a good point. Listen, I was in the Cub Scouts, man. Was, I was in the Cub Scouts really? too. Was you were in the Cub Scouts? Hell yeah, man. How the fuck did what did you what what what, you know what's uh, funny, what patches did you get, Eddie? I didn't get shit. <laughs> of course not. I, yeah, I, I won either. the I won, did the I uh, won the, uh, the the derby the soap car. All the uh, oh, and that's yeah, and that's what they were doing that. whenever uh, he yelled "fuck the Cub Scouts." They were having a meeting oh, to build their own derby. We're seeing what do you got about these Cub Scouts? I mean, I just realized something. There's a lot of times you'll hear people say like, "I'm glad someone had the balls to say that," but you'll never hear someone go, "I'm glad someone had the balls to yell it out of a bus window." <laughs> <laughs> It's tough to do. It takes courage. I just can't believe yeah. this is news. Cub Scouts get ridiculed everywhere they go. They should. Yeah, Cub yeah. Scouts shouldn't fucking exist, and they shouldn't be allowed to Why be in fucking that, public schools. Catholic organizations character. can't be. Look no. what I am, man. Look at you, dude. Yeah, I'm Look. a product of the Cub Scouts. Cub Scouts need to exist. Throw those kids in the woods where they belong. Cub I Scouts <laughs> teach kids how to murder. They teach kids how to join a Michigan militia. A nice, what? good... Hey, show What's me. Wrong with Weebelows? That? Weebelows in the room? Weebelows. Oh, Weebelows. Yeah. Oh, you're so white today. I love how Weebelows are fucking... Weebelows. It's, it's like we blow, and they're all like five years old. What's a Weebelow? We a young, young Cub Scouts. Yeah. Were Nazis. You, Jackie, were you it's uh, like brownie? This, it's between Cub Yeah, I went up to Cadet. What? You did was, you do the yeah. bridging ceremony? I know I didn't. Okay. I mean, I didn't. Gra- I didn't go all the way but through. Jackie, I went. To I know middle your school. history. Oh. Can you not attest to the fact that you were you you were a security guard for your school, right? Yeah. And all you did was bully nerds and you <laughs> slapped books out of their fucking hands <laughs> yeah. because you were part of these brownie scouts. No, it was pretty great because I did that to the girls of the troop as well. But my mom <laughs> was the head of the troop, so no one could say anything to me. <laughs> <laughs> so it was pretty awesome. Your smile is That's so like pretty. being in prison and your father's the warden. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a Cub Scouts fan. Marcus, were you in the Cub Scouts? Yeah. Well, I mean, I was... Okay, here's the thing about the Cub Scouts that I was in. Is that the uh, the scout leader was this uh, extreme alcoholic woman. Love uh, it. Called, uh, what was her name? Wait, her a last woman? Name was, was you a guys woman? Was a woman. Jackie. Yeah, yeah, dead mother. A, woman, a woman ran mine also. Yeah, yeah, yeah dead yeah. mothers. But yeah. this woman was an extreme alcoholic, and the only uh, thing that we ever got together to do is we all got together in her barn and did some rock tumbling, but then she got Whoa. way too drunk and passed out. Wow. Well, you got together in her barn and, and did some did rock, rock tumbling? Is that what, you turn, what does that mean? You turn the rocks into jewels? Yeah. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, what? it was pretty cool for the like 20 minutes that it lasted she before she started yelling at us. Why was she yelling at you? I don't know. She had the demons. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My mom was then like, mother. I remember. We used to have all the meetings at my house and stuff. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. What food did your mother make for these people? Oh, uh, yeah, Rice Krispie Treats, that Ooh, kind of stuff. Rita so Saucedo, good. that was her name. Rita, Rita Saucedo. Nice. Oh, name. Name. Yeah, great name for an alcoholic. Oh, <laughs> She sounds like a Bruce Springsteen song. <laughs> Rita, Rita Saucedo. Rita Saucedo. <laughs> <laughs> was a Cub Scout. Damn, ma. <laughs> 
seemed like a fucking nightmare, man. I, was I remember when she guess. was. She was an absolute nightmare. I was in the Cubs cast, and the only thing I remembered about it was that I tucked my shirt in, and I was the only kid that did that. I thought you were supposed oh. to do that. So even You're supposed that, to. You now everybody else just wore it out with their jeans. Ah, so. nice. Jeans? Yeah, we had yeah, to wear, yeah, like, navy shorts. pants, yeah, yeah. navy shorts. See, we oh, had to wear did. khakis. Ah. Yeah, we had khaki shorts. What yeah. lessons did you guys learn from the Cub Scouts? I learned how to cut out. soap with a knife. They gave me a knife. And they when taught do you me how to know that? Isn't this just preparing you for prison life? Who needs to know how to cut soap? Yeah, and also had to. We all had to make an invention. I remember my invention was a uh, a footstool slash, and then you flip it over, and I glued a tub to the bottom of it, and you flip it over, and it's a foot bath. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. That's it's not bad. Bad. Yeah. There was this. Uh, there was this uh, fat. Um, Darker girl that was in my. Just group. say black. <laughs> and, uh, no, she wasn't Indian. black. She wasn't black. She was like Indian, Indian. or something. Jewish. And, uh, she. Her name was Paloma, and she got up in front of everybody. Paloma. And Paloma, and I, she's saying, uh, oh, "I believe that children are the future." <laughs> and uh, I threw things at her while she did it, and then Jesus, afterwards, Jackie? I Jackie pissed her in shit. front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and I like Genuine ruined monster? her. What? <laughs> I don't know Jackie? why. But I think. Pantsing someone is the funniest <laughs> thing ever. It is oh my hilarious. God. It really we, is. You I, it. So this you poor girl, she is not, how old was this girl? Um, ten. So she's ten years old, and she's so like proud to be in front Why of people. Why would you sing nervous. that whole fucking song? <laughs> you are not a song mistress. Don't sing it in front of other people. <laughs> That's you told what her the thing, fuck man. is a song mistress? <laughs> yeah, when that, is that a real? I get that? you though. It's great because first she's singing a song with pants, and then there's no pants. No pants. <laughs> <laughs> there's no pants. You got no pants! <laughs> They called her no pants for the next three years. What? Are you serious? No pants. Literally no pants. <laughs> you, made, you made the nickname. Oh, you're a terrible person. Oh, uh, man. I wish her name was Jan or something like Or like Chance or something like that. Oh, like, no pants, Chance. No pants, Chance. All she, did, all she did was to take the chance. Her parents were like, you know, take risks. And I don't know. No pants, do Paloma. It's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, there was no well, Paloma like disease. Anymore. Paloma was dead. No what pants What is she doing now? Do you know? I don't fucking know. No, you probably haven't, you haven't found somewhere. her on Facebook? No, no, not at all. I don't know her last name. Oh, my God. It's hard. It's got all the squibblies in it. That is so fucking brutally mean. <laughs> all right, well, uh, we're Hold talking. on a second. Let's go back. What are the squibblies, Jackie? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah went out to get a drink. Uh, Jackie passed a girl who tried to sing Children Are Our Future when she was 10 years old, and she pants the girl at the end of the song, and then everybody called her No Pants. Po- what is it? Polanski? No Pants Paloma. She had any is her name because she was Spanish? No, she wasn't Spanish, but it was like there was too many uh, consonants. <laughs> oh, <that's> so mean. <laughs> Possibly Greek? No, 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 no. Darker than that. <laughs> All right, well, usually targets certain levels of dark. <laughs> well, we're going to stay in high school here. Uh, this girl, her name is Jessica Halter. Uh, she's an Ohio student. She was 18. She was arrested Saturday night at her high school prom after she drunkenly assaulted a policeman, tried to kick a paramedic, and spewed a bloody ball of spit at one cop. Oh, oh man, what a party girl. Exactly. The luckiest dude oh in the face God. of the planet brought that chick oh, to yeah, yeah, she, she is, is fucking hired at yeah, the poorhouse. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> she was approached yeah. by school administrators who had received several complaints about the highly intoxicated Halter. When told of these complaints, Halter replied, this is my fucking prom. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Halter, uh, Halter, her speech slur, denied oh. drinking alcohol and cursed out the school's principal and assistant principal. You're fucking bitches. This is my prom. I'm not drunk. <laughs> We're seeing what do you got. I just can't imagine a high school that has their senior prom in March. I mean, that is yeah. weird, right? Yeah. yeah. Is okay. that a bad month? Uh, it's a lot of build up for. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're holding the hand up for a while. Uh, like this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, audience at home, we see this over here, like acting like he's got the math head. question right. Yeah. 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 Whoops. It's, a, it's an observation. Yeah. Just like dumped her baby in the toilet in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. She was just having a reaction. Yeah. yeah like I'm trying to figure out why was she spitting blood out of nowhere? Like where'd that come from? After refusing to take a breathalyzer test, Halter attempted to swing a chair at cops and, the, and then began <laughs> smacking her forehead into the chair handle, causing her nose to bleed. Wow! wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That girl, will happen. I would go gay for this chick. She's 18, right? Whoa. Actually, uh, check, totally check totally out. It's uh, not bad. I mean, what, you probably what, got a two years until she's yeah. a big one. Uh, let me Sarah, what qualities do you right like here. most in this chick? What oh, qualities? There we go. Oh, 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 oh,
like Athena Dell. She Look looks hair, 40. <laughs> oh, she I does love her, 40. Lindsay Lohan. She already like looks defeated, Incredible. man. That's amazing. Yeah. It's great. I love this chick. No. Well, she's also wasted at that. And uh, she looks she, like every girl in Florida that called Kevin the N-word in high school. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, after, who farted? Jesus I don't know. Hey, who was it? Was it? Was it was it's really. it's Kissel. He just yeah. walked out of the room. Of course he jumped. Yeah, it was Kissel. He just walked out of the room. Oh, is you uh, Racine, you piece of man. shit? Fuck Kissel. That, was, Racine, I mean, that was you. I mean, Jesus. The guy farts and then he and then he leaves. Oh, Jesus Christ, oh, Racine. Jesus Christ, Racine. We're, Jesus Christ, Christ, Racine. we're in this hot ass uh, small room. There's no windows, man. You guys act like I can have control over it. <laughs> <laughs> so after uh, this girl, uh, while being handcuffed, she began kicking, screaming, spitting, and thrashing about. As she walked out of uh, DeLuca's catering hall, Halter, screaming obscenities, let her legs go limp. So official, official officers had to carry Are you the drunk? Team. I am drunk. <laughs> Ossifers. Yeah. Ossifers had to carry the teen to a patrol car. That is when Halter cleared her throat and spit a bloody ball of spit that's at awesome. Awesome. Officer like the time Kyle I lost my Gelinius. See, to me, that's just like that's there's blow, right? like there's blow. like there's young love, there's young drunk. I mean, come on, people, we've all had our initial experiences of being completely super trash. Oh, yeah. completely. Oh, I remember I went uh, sliding around in the yard. I smoked weed for the first time out of an empty bullet shell in a hot tub. I mean, we've all Whoa. had sort of experiences. What? That's awesome. Grew up yeah. in North Carolina. Hot yeah, damn. yeah. God, I, was, I love that state. One of the first times I was drunk <laughs> was at Pacelli Panacea, which was a big event uh, for. The, oh, I uh, thought that was a girl. No, no, I never had sex with a girl. <laughs> Still a virgin. I just love to fuck men. Um, but I got into a huge fight. <laughs> I got into a huge fight in the middle of everybody. And it was extremely embarrassing. What the were you few, saying? What, were, what, was, what was your... Fuck uh, you, you're fucking... You don't like me. And then I went home. <laughs> and then I went home and I started crying to uh, this dude named Ricky Berna, who was in the class above me. And I was just like, you don't like me. And then... That was it. Oh, and then he sucked yeah, your dick. Do, really? how, how big were you back then? I was fucking like so nice. Yeah, how old? How old? <laughs> huh? How old were you? I was twelve. The first. Well, no, actually, the first couple of times I got drunk were fantastic you for were about drunk three at years. 12? Yeah. yeah, but I was. Yeah, I was I, but I was twelve too. It was yeah, awesome. I, I didn't drink in public until I was fifteen. I just drank oh, alone. Well, I started drinking alone for. I was drinking alone before I. I In I, fact, one of the first yeah. times I ever got drunk, Rita Saucedo bought the beer for us. Oh. Really? Oh. Yeah. Whenever I was thir Rita whenever Saucedo. I was thirteen, Who yeah. Rita the Saucedo, den mother, the, the uh, den mother, mother, the Cub yeah. Scouts, yeah. When I was in high school, I used to hang around with the straight edge hardcore kids who all had like I the triple X tattoos. Those were my friends. Uh, and they'd play like all ages shows at the VFW hall, like hardcore music and shit. And so one time I got mad at my boyfriend who was straight edge, so I decided I was going to get drunk because I knew it would get him upset. So I drank a bunch of Franzia, uh, and then I puked into the plastic bag that our newspaper came in. Uh, and, and then I told him about it, and he almost broke up with me. I was uh, 16. No, 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 no. What did you do with the plastic bag? Uh, I think I flushed it down the toilet. It's so probably some fish had to eat it, and I feel bad about that. Now. <laughs> yeah, I, I was kind of thinking. That I, I was hoping that you would have swung it around your head and threw it at a car. Yeah, that's what I would have been. That's exactly what I pictured as well. Jackie, Jackie, what was the first time you got like super fucking trash? Well, I mean, I was. I would probably say like 13 or 14. I was smoking weed really early with my sister, but I didn't really drink until like beginning of college. Because I was a speed freak. Oh. Mm -hmm. Help her, help her. Yeah. Okay, much more acceptable. How to get yeah. things done. And now we have a segment from Holden McNeely. Picking team swag. Swag, swag. Swag, so, swag. Wow. Swag, swag. swag. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go around. We're going to pick teams like well, like uh, shitty kids would do to pick like their softball team or baseball team or whatever. They're the not fuck. shitty kids in, if you're athletic. In PE, it sucks That's to true. be me you're for that friend. process. It blew, so I'm bringing it back to everybody. So we're going to go around. We're going to go in twos. You're going to pick a certain kind of team, uh, and the person who gets last is going to get deducted points, and Marcus will also be scoring people based on how good their team is for what we're choosing. So we're going to start with Kevin and Ed. You're going to go back and forth. and who goes it's, first? Uh, Ed, you can go first. Actually, uh, paper, rock, scissors for it. Yeah, paper, rock, scissors. One, one two, one, three, shoot? Yeah. One, two, three, shoot. 
One, two, three, shoot. shoot. Ah, Kevin, ah, ah, Kevin, Kevin gets, gets it. Scissors on paper. So Kevin goes first. Like so wait, wait, what's uh, scissors? <laughs> it works every time. <laughs> um, well, oh, yeah, what's if? Wait, what are we? The team is. Uh, you're going to pick your team that's going to take down the monster Cloverfield from the movie Cloverfield. Oh, interesting. Oh, all right. So well. you've got you from the people in the room, Marcus yeah. and I included. Um, go, you, uh, uh, Kevin, you go first, and each time, kind of explain why a little bit, why you would pick this. So, but I can't pick Ed because he's... You can't pick Ed. Sorry, All buddy. Right. Jesus. I'd pick <laughs> if you. I'm fighting a monster, yeah. that's the only person I'd pick I'd you pick. first, too. If yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> you just made this yeah. extremely difficult. Exactly. <laughs> well, shit, man. All right. If uh, fighting a monster in Cloverfield... I need I to be to go. in bed by seven. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll go with Jackie. Jackie All is right. the first why, why Jackie? Oh, oh. Listen to her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm picking I'm definitely picking Marcus as my first pick. He's okay. he's squirrely. He'd be able to climb in the in the hard to reach places and be able to get the get the things done that we need to get done. So you're I, fighting a monster who's the size of like a city. Really? Exactly. That's why you it? need Marcus to climb up the fire escape and throw shit at his head while you're trying to run routes around his feet. Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought you were gonna get chosen. Yeah, I have already thought. Uh, I have already thought a lot of how I would take this monster down. <laughs> I've got right. a plan, Kevin. Second pick. Oh, uh, second pick. Uh, probably go with Racine. Ah, yeah. I like it. Yeah, Racine is probably. I just imagine he's good with like blunt objects and probably <laughs> missiles. <laughs> he's good with that. Shit. I think Kevin just wants to see me get killed by a monster. <laughs> <laughs> it's for the racism. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ed, your uh, second pick. My, next, my second pick, I'm going with Kissel, of course. All right. Uh, Kissel is uh, is heartless and uh, definitely uh, would have no problem killing another human if he had to. True, And true. Uh, I think that he's the only guy bigger than me, and so I feel like the monster would be more likely to kill him before me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. That's or, good. Yes. All right, <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> it's down to me and Sarah. Um, I just want to throw in my dibs there. Uh, you know, I've got some <laughs> prowess. I could, uh, you know, I've seen the movie for sure, and uh, I definitely know how it gets destroyed at the end. I think I could maybe uh, cry well, at it. I was gonna choose you anyway, so I'll pick you hey! next oh, because you. I feel like you know you could just <laughs> you could well all right you could roll down the street covered in grease, making the monster slip and fall, hurt himself. There you yeah. go. I feel like I've been blessed twice by you because I would have. I definitely wanted Marcus as my first pick, and then you just picked Holden over Sarah, which is ridiculous. Well, it still means. <laughs> That Greece, Sarah dude. was picked last, and Sarah is now. Yeah, well, you get you get an automatic minus one. Oh. But Ed, you wanted what? Sarah. What I for? wanted Sarah. I wanted Sarah because Sarah, you gotta have. You always gotta have the woman on your exactly. team. Exactly. Uh, because I'm on the team. Uh, yeah, but, uh, you're, uh, you're, but you're you also, not. You gotta. You gotta <laughs> what? You're not a lady. Martino got no bitches, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because you know, once Cloverfield kills all society, we have to start a new one. Oh. oh. <laughs> so you're gonna be viciously raped and violated on a weekly basis. I'd love to get viciously raped by you. Someone's got to take all our jizz. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and the final score is Kevin 23, Ed 27. All right. Hey. Is that the whole thing? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. How did you score that? Uh, I don't know. Based on <laughs> he just did it. He wrote Expert the scoring in. ability. Is that the whole game? <laughs> yeah. And what is the deduction for uh, Sarah? Uh, Sarah gets minus one. Oh, shit, man. Gotcha. All right. All right. You got all right uh, Thanks. Mike and hey, Sarah. Yeah. Now, now it's Real payback life. time, Sarah. So oh my God. Uh, now you're going to be picking. I who... pick not Kevin. I pick not Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> who is going to run uh, with you, your underground drug cartel? You don't want to get caught by the cops. You got to push this nice. cocaine mm. and heroin, big loads out of uh, different parts of Colombia and shit. Okay. I'm Shooting from loads. Miami. Rock, <laughs> paper, <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, just start. Are you ready? Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, 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 rock and rock. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Scissors, rock. Ah, Ray Stevie, you start. Who you pick him first? All right, my scissors. first pick is Ed Larson. Yes! Um, Good pick. I, I can't imagine anyone ever saying, hey, I think that guy's hiding something in his tummy. <laughs> 
<laughs> and also, you said uh, earlier uh, before the program you were going to be insulted if you didn't get picked first. Yeah, yeah if I didn't get picked one. first for the drug running, I would have been so upset. <laughs> yeah, if, <laughs> if, if anybody picked drugs. anyone but Ed for the drug running, I would have immediately called them an idiot, and they would have lost the game immediately. Sarah, who do you pick? Uh, I'm going to pick you because I've long wanted to stick uh, condoms filled with drugs up your ass. Yeah. I'll take it. Absolutely. Yeah. People yeah. wanted it to happen, uh, so that's a match made yeah. in heaven. Ed, second pick? That's not, it's Racine. Uh, Mike? Oh, Racine, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm going to pick Jackie because uh, you want a girl on your team, right? Oh, 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 oh. You want a dog on your team? You want a, t- <laughs> <laughs> you want a girl who can dress up like a dog and <laughs> pretend, <laughs> pretend to be a dog drug pretend sniffer. Pretend to be a dog when the cops show up. And <laughs> <laughs> but she's really just filled with drugs. <laughs> Sarah, second pick. Uh, I'm going to pick Kissel because if any of those tiny Colombian motherfuckers get in our way, he could just eat them. And he could probably eat three in a day and not feel full. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. You're like the pigs in a mafia. Yeah. I just feel like I'm a human shield in both of these so far. It's very sad. Racine, pick number three. All right, I'm going to pick Marcus Parks because running a drug cartel is hard work. I and can't believe Kevin was picked last. Not saying. that you this don't is, deserve it. I know. I know. I know. No, it's a good point, though. If you, if I'm just saying running a drug cartel is hard, and you're going to need a guy who can use a computer. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's a good point. That's, That's a very true. good point. Someone's got to do the And numbers. I might have uh, farted again. Sorry. Oh, my God. Uh, you fucking yeah. farted. Sarah. All right, I'm making Jackie next, and here's why. But Jackie's already been Jackie. picked. Wait, no, I you have Kevin's to pick. Kevin's the only one left. Kevin, Kevin was un- Kevin? so oh unpicked. Why do I have to pick Kevin? You have to. He's last. Oh, I'll pick Kevin. And Kevin gets points deducted. Last. And, and, and why do you pick Kevin? Because I am going to pimp Kevin God out as a homosexual sex mule, and uh, <laughs> everyone is going to rape him in the butt for no reason. <laughs> Kevin, no, I'm sorry. Not for me. Me. <laughs> it will give me pleasure. It has nothing to do with the drug ring. All right, so, let's say uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, minus one. Sarah, you get an 18. Oh, thanks. And Mike, oh, shit. We got a tie. 18 and 18. Wow. Sarah's team is better than mine. Are you fucking kidding? Should there be a tiebreaker somehow? There should be a tiebreaker. I think it was the farting that did it. Yeah, it, it, Mike did fart again. Nothing to do with it. <laughs> Your listeners can't smell. They're going to smell us coming, Mike. We're going to get shot up by the cops. Exactly. <laughs> you, you, you get a little bit less for the farting. So we got to do a tiebreaker for them right now. Got to do a tiebreaker. All right. Which you? All right. Smelliest fart wins. <laughs> <laughs> which uh, which U.S. president uh, are you going to choose uh, to go along with you on this mission? Ooh. Yeah, I know. Um, James K. Polk, because he didn't take any shit from Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sarah? That's not a bad pick. That's not a bad pick. That's actually, that's like, Sarah, I don't care what you say right now, Mike, you win. Oh, <laughs> wow. I was going to say Rutherford B. Hayes, because he's got that sweet, sweet stash, but that's fine. Mike wins. No, no, no. Mike yeah. totally wins that's on fine. that. Jesus it's Christ, Mike. Marcus. Oh, he's got to get to the P room. Climbing all over the place. Okay, cool. So we've got our last round. Let's just pretend Mike is still in the room. He has to go on a little bathroom break. Uh, we're going to do Jackie and Ben right. going against each other. You're picking a team to kidnap a guy Ooh. and scare the bejesus out of him for a full week. Ooh. You're going to take him somewhere and you're going to fucking kind of torture him, but really the point is just to horrify the fucking potatoes out so of him. So we're still feeding this guy, right? <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. living. You're going to drop him back off to his family, but the... Yeah, the no you're... ransom whatsoever. No, oh, okay. not at all. You just want to make him the most shell of a man you can make him by the end. Japanese so game all right. Rock, okay. paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. One, two, three. Shoot. It's Rock really versus nasty. scissors, and I Ben wins. I told you. I fucking sold it. You just left it there. <laughs> yeah, it was a rock. And, uh, have you ever tried to pick All up right, one? All right, pick somebody. All right, Kevin ben, Barnett. You start. I'm picking Kevin Barnett. Okay. No one will ter- terrify someone more than me and Kevin Barnett if we <laughs> just like randomly grab them and sc- start screaming in their faces about what fucking faggots they are. <laughs> <laughs> no one will. Con- it's, it's terrified. I'm good at calling people gay, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, Mike is still in the room, even though he's not. Jackie, who are you picking? It's kind of crazy that you... I, I was figured, since you're going first, that 
I would pick either Marcus or out of which whatever one you didn't pick that you're ridiculous so you didn't pick one first. Um, and this is a hard decision for me. But I'm going to go ahead and say Marcus because I think that he could use a knife really well. But he's I tiny and In torturous way. I it doesn't matter. It's like it's the about like using a small knife in a way to keep someone alive okay. for a really long time. I have, I, a, I have a clay figure that I made in my room. Uh, <laughs> And this clay figure has no less than uh, seven pocket knives shoved into him at Done. different points. There you go. No, see, see, see. That's why you also fucked up, though. I was basically pre man. I know how to fucking keep motherfucker alive. I'm You're putting too knives soft through. to what, do it. You're too soft to do it. Pre mad, I know how to do it too. No, he is better than. I, I am. Doesn't matter. We're on the same team. Yeah, yeah. I will also to squirrel, officially though. defeat fucking Jackie's terrible. Group of merry men choose Mike Racine on account he's a total sociopath. Absolutely, and yeah, yeah, I know for a yeah. fact he, he should have been picked man. first. Yeah. Well, opinion. he was out of the room. No, what's, I'm the, telling what's the game? The uh, game is uh, you're, they're going to steal a man for a week and scare him to beyond bejesus, and then return him to his family. Mike Racine literally. <laughs> This is Mike literally Mike and I'm literally what? fourth? Third. No, you're my you're second choice. Okay. Kevin was my first, but that's simply because America's racist. <laughs> <laughs> um, the thing about Mike is uh, that he literally kicked a girl out of his bed by presenting a shotgun. It was a uh, it her. was a handgun. But, it was okay. a handgun. I thought no, it was point, a BB gun, Mike. It was a BB gun. It was a BB gun. It was a BB gun that was a handgun. Nonetheless, you pointed a gun at a girl and told her to get out of your bed. Why do I have to do this every time I come on the show, Kevin? Because you're the best! Oh, no, you're the best! I love you, baby! I love you, baby! Here. And we do this again, I'm gonna be fucking lo- ambushed again. I need my attention, <laughs> I'm in black, I'm the German, we got hey, this, dude. You're a what? Your team is already falling Jesus apart, you know, my team's not falling apart. My team's falling apart, I'm fucking like fucking pepperoni. That girl listened to the episode, did I ever tell you that? <laughs> that the cracks are appearing in the team. All the right, keep that in mind, Marcus. Don't you be team. biased, Marcus. <laughs> I'm not being biased. I mean, hey it's... guys, didn't Jesus say stop bothering someone if they <laughs> get a girl out of their bed with a hand? I think he did. He did. He said, I'm stop happy to have you on board, stop. team he Kevin Barnett and Ben Kissel. Ah. That's the thing. So, so uh, I mean, at the same time, I am horrified right now. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, and murder your ass, dude. Look, I would have let her stay over if she wanted to. I didn't kick but her But you out. put a gun to her head. <laughs> oh, so right. she chose I'll to leave. Two. All right, Jackie. Well, Jackie, pick that your number one and two. That you put a gun to a girl's head. She, he did not put a gun to her head. He pointed at it, he pointed it at her from across the room. He brandished it at her. That's at enough. Her. <laughs> you just don't show... But this is why I love you. Yeah, That's why you were on my team. Let's just, <laughs> at the very least, he pulled a gun on her. On a girl. It wasn't a gun. It she wasn't a gun. gun. No, no, no. no. I, I, it, yeah. She did not know that it was a BB gun. She, she didn't she know did. that it was fake, and I didn't even, I didn't pull it. Pulling right. a gun on her. Apart. Mike, your but team's Mike to apart. your credit, I she was wearing was... a hoodie. She was wearing a hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jackie, right, what's Jackie, your, Jackie, what's your what next pick? Holden. Yeah, I think that Holden, while the while Marcus is slowly cutting this person into little cuts, God. that he would just make it feel like she was already in hell <laughs> because he would dress like a goat, hoof at her. I'm assuming it's a woman because I would rather do it to a woman. <laughs> stinky, stinky. Until she would rather be dead. God than damn, stay in you're her right. I wasn't agree with you until yeah. I heard. No, that's the thing, yeah. right? <laughs> Yeah. Holden torturing you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, like somehow you got bound up and Holden was the guy in charge of torturing you. Oh, my imagine, girl, imagine oh my imagine girl. how difficult yeah. that would be to take. Him Absolutely. in a dark room <laughs> saying <laughs> shit to you, just sweating. Well, Marcus is making tiny slits. Oh. Yeah. Not I'm just going anything. I'm just going, give me the cum. Give me the cum. Give me the cum. Oh, Holden, you're the worst person in this room. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I'm surprised yeah. I was picked so late, but whatever. Yeah. I'm happy not to get picked last. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Ben, who are you picking? Well, last, last one. Well, Sarah's the only one left, right? Yeah, and me. Oh, Sarah and Ed. Holy Christ! Well, if I choose fucking Ed, there's no competition. Obviously, we would win. <laughs> by the way, by the right. way, if this was actually something like kickball or softball, I would be Pretty last every time. Last. I just want to, <laughs> but because it's running a drug cartel, I mean, there's no way that good. I can't choose Ed. Right? Now. If we what? kidnap a person again. and we want to scare him. We got Racine, KB, and fucking Eddie, and me. That's, That's a, great a team. team. That's, That's a great team. team. That's, That's a, a dream right team. That is a dream team. <laughs> <laughs> it is a total dream team. That's the Bulls in '96. You know it. 
<laughs> it is the Bulls in 96, so I'm going to choose my Dennis Rodman, Ed Larson. <laughs> There's and no now, fucking way we can lose. Marcus, if you don't score this for the fucking proper victory, you're a total well, no, fucking at asshole. At the same time, I am happy to have Sarah on my team because imagine what she would do to a man's libido as But Marcus you just said you're picking a girl. Drink. She'd make the dude home and make him come. He would feel fantastic. No, no, Marcus, no. that is the women's 2002 Olympic soccer team, okay? <laughs> Me and Ed you know, kiss <laughs> We're doing I really, great. I really, I, I have to say here, if I'm really going with my gut, Kevin, Ed, Mike, you're all good people. You what actually do have some love in your heart. Me, oh, Holden, you didn't say that shit because you were on the team. You no, this asshole. game's a sham. This game's a sham. This is the 2000 election. So, Ed, did we win? Did we win, Mark? We won! Yeah! We did not win! No, you did not win! No, I am calling bullshit! That's what that. Yo, no, you don't understand the person we kidnapped is a, a fucking a bishop. Yeah. Hey, Marcus. And not, and all right, right, all right. And not only well, that. I'll tell you one thing. When not you only that. Assholes, do you know how much old Love school Eminem I listen to? A lot. Do Marcus, you I, exactly. Marcus, Marcus, I kicked a girl out of my bed with a shotgun. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> what are you talking about? Fucking, Love in my heart. The whole game Did you shoot shame. her? That is no yes, I shot her. You did not shot shoot her. her. And her fat All right, face. Marcus, tally up your fake score that doesn't matter because it's completely yeah. inaccurate. Okay, let's see here. Uh, 9 out of 15, and what's the name? 22, and 12, and 21, and let's see here. The final score it. is 28. So 28 to 22, the final scores. Mike. 19. Number 3. Eddie, 27. Jackie, 28. Yay! Oh, oh, what? I, was just an idiot. I thought it was a team oh, game. Shit. I thought it was a team game. Alright, well, you know what? I'm not going to close out it like I usually do because this has been a bunch of bullshit and this episode will never end. Fuck Marcus. Yeah. Fuck Jackie. They're parading me around. All right, the room. this episode is this it episode is brought to you by stupid bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Round table of gentlemen. <laughs> Bunch of fat fucking assholes. Swag. <laughs> That's it. That's how I. Fuck you, Marcus. Swag. Hello, Ben. It was the first one I won. Swag, swag. You didn't Baby, win that one. Eddie. He clearly received. won. You didn't it's win. The best team. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely the best team. No, Look at us, man. Swag. I challenged the other team to an actual kidnapping duel. No. Okay. <laughs> Wait, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Wait, I have an idea. I'm sorry, Sarah, can you, you can't leave. Can you record the conversation that me and Kevin have after the show? We where each I, get a look Where I from ask it. him if anything I said was racist. <laughs> <laughs> Where I sincerely go, hey Kevin, I, nothing I said in there was offensive to you, right? <laughs> every I feel like every time I talk to you, you like that, literally. <laughs> Jackie's a brat. Hey, you know I'm Larson. not like a racist, right, Mr. Barnett? <laughs> Holding me nearly, Kevin Barnett, Ben Kissel. Thank swag. you, sir, Ben and Kessel. Swag, You're swag. Uh, Thank you, racist. And, and who you talking? Who's the man? And Ben Kissel, I'm the best. And, Good night. Oh, and hey, Mark is his Mark's name. Marks. And Mark's is perfect. Uh, fine. Fucking okay, Mark cupcake, up, man. Swag. Cupcake. Oh, yeah. Cupcake. Cupcake. Swag, swag. Swag. Back. Way back in the day. That's fucking bullshit. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> swag. I was fucking screwed over.